honestly, um, the doctor's office just called me and said, you know, would you be willing to donate the placenta? So, so um, it has to be a scheduled C-section um, just because that's what MTF um, prefers. They need scheduled C-sections just because of the timeliness of it. And then also um, stuff that can happen to the membranes as it passes through the birthing canal. Why would you not? You know, if you can help a bunch of people with something, I mean, they're just going to throw it away, I think. So it was kind of, yeah, an easy decision. Um, so they use them for burn victims, diabetic ulcers, and then they also do reconstructive surgeries. They use them to wrap them around veins and stuff like that when they're doing like, um, so if they're doing a reconstructive surgery like in your leg or your arm. This is what they actually use to make the graft. So this is the amnion is the outside layer and the chorion is the inside layer. Um, and then baby is inside this very layer. So, and these are the two membranes that they weave together to make the grafts. I think it's really cool. I honestly didn't know until I was in the hospital like ready to have them and they came in and said, oh, you're the first person to do this. And I think it's special that he was able to do some, you know, he was able to do something that will help so many people and kind of been an exciting thing for him and <laughs> deceased donation is amazing too I don't want to take anything away from that because they are saving lives um, but there's something negative always had to happen for donation to occur with deceased donation um, so being involved where nothing negative had to happen to come from something so positive was just a magical moment that's all I can say it was magical